Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel GV Envisions and for today's video, I will be teaching you how to create a simple design of a dining chair and table in SketchUp. So are you ready? Let's get started. Alright, so before we start, shout out nga pala sa kaibigan ko and nagturo sa akin how to gain more subscriber in YouTube. So si Kevin Perez. At the same time, sa kanyang family, sa kanyang wife and their lovely daughter. So, shout out sa inyo dyan, sa Leite. At the same time, please subscribe to their channel, J1 Seafoods Kevstar TV. So, marami po silang video doon about uh, foods at the same time, mga adventures. So, meron po kami video together. Uh, Nag-adventure po kami sa Mighty Hilltop dito po sa Lanao del Norte. So, if you have time, please uh, watch also our video. Alright, so let's start our tutorial for this video. So again, I will be teaching you how to create a simple design of a dining chair and dining table. Okay, so the very first step is we must know what are the standard dimensions or height of the table and the chairs in, uh, in our dining area. Next step here is we also want to figure out how many seater would it be. Is it two-seater? Two 4-seater or 6-seater. So in my case, I will be creating a 4 to 6-seater uh, dining table. Okay, so for the 4 to 6-seater uh, dining table, the standard the standard dimension there is uh, the length of 1.50 meters and the width of 0.90 meters. Okay, so fi we figure out the length and the width of our dining table. So in order for us to create the, the, the table, so let us first go to the rectangle or you can just press R in your keyboard. And then click anywhere, and then make sure to drag your mouse anywhere you want. Then you can see here in the dimension part, you can see here the length and the width. Okay, so again, the length is 1.5 meters by, and then press comma, and then 0.90 meters, which is the width. Again, the length, comma, and the width. So in this case, the length is 1.5, and the width is 0.9. Then press enter. So we can now scroll we can now zoom out as we can see here we ca we now have our uh, table or the the size of our table if you can see a darker object there and you're distracted to this you want a white uh, white uh, white color so all you need to do is to click that one then right click and then make sure to click reverse faces so that it uh, it will appear to be in the white color and then here is the gray color earlier okay next is we must have to know the height of the of, of that table Okay, so for the table, the standard height for this one is 30, approximately 30 inches, or if we convert into centimeters, that is uh, that is point uh, that is 90 centimeters or 0.90 meters. Okay, so all we need to do is to click the plane here, and then press M in your keyboard, that stands for move, and then click the end point or the starting point, and then make sure that your cursor is in the blue axis or upward. And then now we will press 0.9 in our keyboard. Then that is the indication that you are having a 0.90 meters of the height of the table and then enter. Okay. Next step here is we will now create the thickness of this table. So say for example, the thickness here is 0 0.05 or we can have make it 0.1. So first is go to the push pull or you can just press letter P in your keyboard and then click and then drag it this one. And then you can have it 0.1, or if it's uh it's it's so it's too much for you, you can just say have it 0 0.05. So just type 0 0.05 in your keyboard and then enter. Then you now have the thickness of your table. Next step here is we na we need to have to create the legs here of the table. Okay, so next thing we need to do is to use the offset or here this one, or you can just press letter F in your keyboard. For the offset command, click this one here and we can just uh, create or let's say for example 0 0.05, 0 0.05 and then enter. Then we, can, we already created its offset. Next step here is we will have to create the legs. Okay, let's say for example our legs here is 
0.05 by 0.05 meters. So all we need to do is type 0.05, comma 0.05, and then enter. Okay. Next step here is we'll click this one, and then copy it to the other side by using the move tool. Press M in your keyboard, click the endpoint, but as you move this one, you can see that the line comes comes to you or, or comes together. So, in order to prevent that, press Ctrl in your keyboard, then copy this one in this part here. Then you can repeat the same procedure by pressing again or holding Ctrl, and then click, and then next again is holding again or pressing Ctrl. Now you can see here, you already have four different small squares in each corner and that will serve as your legs. So by the use of the press pull or the push pull or, or press control P or, or press P in your keyboard, you just click this one and then you can now have the legs. So you just label it here or 0.85 meters and then release. Then in order for you to create the other one, you can just double click the the the, the you can just double click it here. Okay, so double click. A okay, double click. By double clicking, you are just repeating the the last command that you have performed. Okay, so now you already have your table idea. Okay, say for example, let's have a, a quite design about this one. So let's say for example, let's have a an additional uh, wood here. So okay, so for example, that is point one, and then we will be creating again a point zero five. By 0 0.05 so press 0 0.05 comma 0 0.05 and then enter and you can see here we can just have push it here okay so we can have a simple design of your table okay there you can now have a simple design of your dining table now we are done with the table now let's go uh, next to our dining chair okay so first step in creating your dining chair make sure to click anywhere and then make sure that you are in the blue axis so the standard height of a dining chair is 0.9 meters so we can have it 0.9 and then enter then we can see here that we already have the height of your chair then next is let's create a line in the green axis so let's have it 0.5 meters and then again, let's have a 0.9 meters and then close. Okay, so locate the, the midpoint here. Make sure that you are in the blue dot that stands for the midpoint. And then make a line here. Now again, let us also have again a line towards here. So let us just make it same as this side here. So this is 0.5. So let us create a line in the red axis with a distance of 0.5 meters. <laughs> Then here we also have a 0.5 meters and then close. Okay, now let's create the thickness about this one. Let's have it 0 0.05 meters. Okay, so now we have this basis here. Now we can just have simply deleted this one because we will not be needing that one anymore. And then as you can see, uh, you already have this one here which will be to serve as your back support. What we need to do here is to create the legs. So just again press R in your keyboard that stands for rectangle. And then create the legs by doing the 0 0.05 comma 0 0.05 and then enter. So same as what we did earlier in the table. Next is select this face here and then make sure to move this to the other side and then press control and then click. And there you have it. The next is let's say for example, uh, you can also adjust this one here because if you, uh, you may just uh, create a higher back support here. So we can just extend this to point two. Okay, then we can just also have a design by just doing the offset and then point zero 
uh, 5 or just point zero two, and then we can just create a different lines here this okay so next is let us also put some material color here and as we can see we can create a call uh, we can do it with the use of the paint bucket tool so you can choose the wood color here and then we can just have it to choose anywhere here okay so say for example i don't uh i don't want any any color here so i just want to import okay so i have here a previous uh, previous file here of what I designed in SketchUp. So I want this wood texture. So all I need to do is to copy this one and then go back to the SketchUp file and then paste. Then after that one is we gonna need to uh, press paint bucket again. And then by the use of the sample paint, you can just press the sample paint and then click the object here. And as you can see in this part, you already copied the texture of this object. So, all we need to do is you can just click it here and then you can click anywhere so that you can edit the texture of this object. Say for example, you get you're tired of get of uh, putting a, um, a texture here one by one. So, all you need to do is just to select all and then press letter B and then apply. Okay, so that would be it. Then next, next is I want this... Uh, I want this object or this color to be applied here. So next is this one. And then again, I will use the sample paint. Click. And as, I can, as you can notice here, uh, it already copied the texture of this one. So next is just select everything and then press B and then copy. Then you can see that you already imitated the, uh, the color or texture of this one. So we need to delete this one because we don't need that anymore. And then let us click this one and then make it as a group. Okay, then next is let us position it here by the use of the move tool. Okay, so that's it. Then we can also click this one here. And then by the use of the scale command, you can just press S and then click this one in order for you to have a mirror of the object. And then press minus one or negative one in your keyboard and then enter. Then you can just have to move it. Okay, then you can also create an object here by just simply rotating the object by the use of the rotate tool. Make sure that you are in the red axis and then Alright, so we now have our dining chair and dining table. So I hope that you learned something from this video and I hope that you will continue to support uh, my channel GV and Visions. So we now have almost 500 subscribers. So thank you very much and I hope to uh, to educate you uh, to create more videos to give to educate every one of you. So thank you once again to God be the glory and see you on my next video.